Hey Bulldogs, this is Mr. Rivera, and I'm really excited about my guest today because we have a great leader in our community. We have Sergeant Martinez, who was a Bulldog, an all-star soccer player, and now a sergeant in our city police department. Welcome, Mr. Martinez, Sergeant Martinez, to our show, and we're going to talk about your story. I read on Facebook how you're going to recruit cops and how you came to this country from El Salvador at 11 years old and didn't know any English, and you went through our Mount Vernon School District system. Why don't you tell us your story? Because our community needs to hear your wonderful story. Well, thank you for having me today. Um, yes, my family I moved here uh, back in 1986. Uh, we came straight to Mount Vernon. Uh, I went to Washington Elementary School there, and then I went uh, to La Venture, uh, came to the high school. And then I did a couple of years at Skagit Valley College. Um, wow. And can you tell me what inspired you to become a police officer? I've always been a, uh, a helper. Um, so I wanted to have a job that uh, would give me that satisfaction of helping people. And this uh, job fit uh, that, uh, that purpose for me. Um, I, I get to help people every day. Now, your job is to serve the people, right? Tell us what a police officer does, because there's a lot of things that people watch on TV, but I bet police officers don't do what they see on TV. What, what do they do day in, day out to serve our community? Yeah, we do a lot of paperwork, for one. <laughs> we take a lot of reports from all kinds of different crimes, small crimes. We take calls on uh, noise complaints, parking complaints, animal problems. Uh, and then, obviously, there's other crimes uh, that are more serious that we also handle. But the majority of the time, we're handling um, uh, issues that are smaller. And also, we're also dealing with um, uh, neighborhood disputes and problems like that. So we're giving people advice on how they can uh, uh, find the right resource or how do they can solve their, their issues that they have without uh, getting to a point that they're getting in fights and, and uh, such. Now, Sergeant Martinez, I have to put this in. You were a soccer player for the Bulldog soccer team, right? Can you tell us about the 1995 season? And Because your name and picture is on the wall in the gym. Can you tell us about your soccer career here at Mount Vernon High School? Uh, yes, um, it was 994. Uh, 94, yeah, sorry. so, but... Uh, we had a very good team back then. Uh, we had been playing on, uh, most of us have been playing on the, the, what they called the Skagit Valley Select uh, Soccer Program. And uh, we were called the Hooligans. We, we weren't Hooligans, but that's just the name that a coach <laughs> selected for us. But anyways, uh, most of us from that team, from the 94 team, uh, had played together about three to four years, which helped in the chemistry. Uh, we had a lot of good athletes with us, and uh, uh, the chemistry was big and have been played together. So we, we had a great year in 94. We only only lost one game, which was against Seaholm, and then uh, we ended up with uh, the state championship that year. So you're an officer and a state champion soccer player. So cool, Bulldogs. So um, tell us, you're recruiting right now for police officers. What does it take? For a student that's watching this video, what does it take to be a police officer for our beautiful city? Uh, first of all, you got to be 21 years old. That's a requirement that you, that you have. Uh, a permanent USA uh, resident or citizen uh, is also another requirement. Uh, for us in the city of Mount Vernon, we require 90 credits or your AA degree or equivalent to be hired by us. Other places don't require that, but we do require that. Uh, uh, the main thing that we're looking for is good people that fit in with our philosophy and our way of policing. There's different ways of policing throughout the nation, uh, but we want people that fit in, in our uh, thinking of policing. So what, tell, us, tell us more about the thinking of the policing, okay? Tell us, because we want to know, because there's a lot of different kind of policing. Like you said, across the nation, people talk police is doing this, police is doing that, but I don't see that from our Mount Vernon police department can you tell us what is your mission and um, what do you do to serve the community okay uh yeah we we want we believe that the community is part of uh needs to be involved in in helping us in policing we believe that the uh, the community are our eyes and our ears and without them we cannot uh 
solve problems or crimes or all of those things without the assistance of, of the community. We need to involve the community and we do a lot of that um, through oral outreach programs that we have. We have Citizens Academy where we bring in citizens and we teach them how we do police in here in Mount Vernon. It's uh, like a two-month class. Also for the high school, uh, there's uh, I know there's a law um, class that Officer Reed provides here. Um, uh, students from that can apply to become part of the preparatory academy and we spend about a month or so during the summertime uh, going through the same thing we do through Citizens Academy uh, doing the different investigations, different uh, programs that we have, different um, uh, tools and all that so just education we believe in educa educating the community and I think some um, police agencies do better job than others at doing that and it's important to let the community know what you're doing for them and uh, how valuable we are. Well, that's why I brought you today, to tell our community how great our Mount Vernon City police officers are. And they're out to serve our community and to serve you, um, Bulldogs, because, you know... If you don't have the police department, they're the ones that keep us safe every single day. They are out there risking their lives, and you're one of you're one of my heroes, and I know you're one of the Bulldogs' heroes. So, a lot of the information about the academy, about the the how to become a police officer. So, if you're an alumni and you're a graduate and you want to be a police officer, the link is below, and I'm going to leave Mr. Uh, Sergeant Martinez's email below so that you could get a hold of Sergeant Martinez. So, last words of advice to somebody that wants to aspire to be a police officer what would you tell a student or a graduate or someone in the community that's watching this video because we have thousands of people that watch this that, and say hey maybe i should be a police officer what does what would you tell this young person that's watching this video i think the biggest thing is to live your life in a way that you can be proud of it uh, that you're not ashamed of anything that you've done and that's a big part of the people that we look for to be a police officer. It, it starts with being a good person, you know. So uh, start being a good person. Well, be a, you're already a good person. Uh, surround yourself with good people that are not going to influence you to do bad things. Um, and be proud of, of yourself. We are so proud of you, Sergeant Martinez, a graduate. You came to this country for the American dream. I, I'm just so happy to interview. It's an honor to interview today. And shout out to our police officers. Thank you for everything that you do. And we, there's one thing that you need to say, Mr. Uh, Martinez, before we leave. Go Bulldogs! Go Bulldogs! Yeah. <laughs>